in previous video we were discussing about the acidic and basic characteristics of solvent and water is a leveling solvent for strong acids that already we discussed now not only water is leveling solvent for strong acids but it is also a leveling solvent for the bases now strong bases like hydride ion amide ion and ethoxide ion react completely with water and they form hydroxide ion that is oh minus for example x minus this is the strong base it reacts with water so there is a formation of hx plus oh minus because of this oh minus resulting solution will be basic okay so hence these strong bases like hydrides amides ethoxides these strong bases are leveled to the base strength of hydroxide ion that is oh minus ion in aqueous solution so in this way suppose sodium hydride sodium amide or sodium ethoxide when added in water all these three they produce sodium hydroxide oh minus and concentration of oh minus will be the same or equal and therefore these three strong bases these are leveled in water these are leveled so here sodium hydride when added in water there is a formation of na plus and oh minus similarly sodium amide soda amide when added in water we get oh minus sodium ethoxide when added in water there is a formation of oh minus so in this way these uh, strength of these are leveled now here some basic solvent like ammonia it act as a leveling solvent for acids a solvent which is more basic than water like ammonia produce leveling effect on the acids so in ammonia all strong acids are leveled to the level of weak acid ammonium uh, am weak acid like ammonium and nh4 plus hence the acetic acid it is as strong as hydrochloric acid or nitric acid in liquid ammonia because hydrochloric acid nitric acid all these are leveled to the same acidic level like nh4 plus and this is because all these acids ionize almost completely in liquid ammonia and they form the nh4 plus for example when acetic acid is added in liquid ammonia there is a formation of nh4 plus so this h plus gets transferred to the ammonia and we get nh4 plus and ch3co minus hcl also transfers proton and there is a formation of nh4 plus hf also transfer proton and there is a formation of nh4 plus now acidity of solution it is because of the concentration of nh4 plus and these three acids they produce the nh4 plus and therefore they are leveled here acetic acid is a differentiating solvent for the basis so in already i told you in a basic medium acids like acetic acid hcl and hf these are leveled okay and uh, here the now you consider the acetic acid which is the differentiating solvent so when acetic acid it is added in the stronger acid like hx 
then it transfer proton sorry the, this hx being a strong acid than acetic acid it transfer proton to the acetic acid and there is a formation of ch3coh2 plus plus x minus okay and the solvent in which acid ionize to a different extent to that relative strength of acid can be measured are known as differentiating solvents the solvents in which acids ionize to different ex extent so that relative strength of acids can be measured are called differentiating solvents so water is a leveling solvent for acids like hcl hbr hi that already we discussed and to differentiate the relative strength of these acids a much weaker acid like acetic acid it is considered or taken as a reference solvent and in acetic acid we can distinguish the strength of hi hbr and hcl so acetic acid is a differentiating solvent for these acids like hi hbr hcl and the acid strength of these acids follows the order hi is stronger acid than hbr which is stronger than hcl so it acetic acid is a differentiating solvent now next point is oxidizing and reducing characteristics of the solvents now the influence of solvent can also be studied in oxidizing or oxidation reaction okay now strong reducing agent react immediately with water and therefore the oxidizing and reducing characteristics also plays important role in a chemical reaction now next point is classification of solvents so on the basis of physical and chemical properties solvents are classified as protic or protonic and aprotic solvents acidic basic or amph amphoteric solvents and ionizing and non ionizing solvents so first of all what are the protic and aprotic solvents now first the protic or protonic solvent meaning of protonic solvent now protonic solvent or protic solvent are those which contain replaceable hydrogen atom these solvents are donors of protons these are basically lori bronsted acids or sometimes they act as a base okay examples are glacial acetic acid then liquid hydrogen fluoride hcl so these are the protic solvents now here acetic acid it produces proton acetic acid when act as a solvent it produces proton and therefore it is a protic acid similarly hf it produces h plus ion and hcl it produces h plus ion and therefore these are the protic acid the acceptor of proton it is also regarded as a protic solvent or protonic solvent for example ammonia it accepts proton and produces nh4 plus and therefore this is also protic solvent it contain hydrogen as well similarly this protonation takes place due to auto ionization through the transfer of proton from one molecule of ammonia to another molecule of ammonia and there is a formation of solvated proton that is nh4 plus and protonated anion that is nh2 minus this is protonated anion and this is solvated proton and therefore ammonia it is also a protonic solvent now what are aprotic solvents aprotic or non protonic solvents are those which neither donate 
proton nor accept proton and they do not contain hydrogen atoms they ni neither donate proton nor accept proton and the examples are, are benzene now here in benzene the uh, transferable proton is not there there is hydrogen but this hydrogen cannot be transferred so this is not a transferable proton okay so don't get it confused with they do not contain hydrogen atoms transferable hydrogen atoms or protons so benzene do not contain transferable proton and therefore it is a a protic solvent so sulfur dioxide n2o4 brf2 these are the a protic solvents now next type is acidic basic or amphoteric solvents now acidic solvents are those which are proton donors example glacial acetic acid liquid hydrogen fluoride already we discussed so these are the acidic solvents acetic acid and hf now what are the basic solvents basic solvents are those which accept proton and also donate electrons example ammonia and ethylene diamine these are the basic solvents so ammonia it can accept proton as well as ammonia it can donate pair of electron to the h plus and there is a formation of ns4 plus so both the processes are occurring it accepts proton it donates electron and therefore ammonia is a basic solvent now what are amphoteric solvents amphoteric solvents are those which show both acidic and basic properties water and lower alcohols like methanol ethanol these are amphoteric solvents water when donates proton it act as acidic when it accepts proton to form hydronium ion it act as a basic solvent so, and therefore water is amphoteric solvent similarly methanol to between two methanol molecules one methanol molecule transfer proton to other and there is a formation of ocs3 minus and ch3 oh2 this is protonated alcohol and alkoxide ion so transfer of proton and x gain of proton takes place and therefore it is amphoteric solvent even in ethanol also especially lower alcohols these are the amphoteric solvents one ethanol molecule transfers proton and it is converted into oc2h5 minus whereas other ethanol molecule accepts proton and there is a formation of protonated alcohol molecule so accept and gain of proton takes place and therefore it is a uh, amphoteric solvent now ionizing and non ionizing solvents the ionizing solvents are those which bring out the ionization of solutes fairly well this property of solvent it is due to polar nature and the examples are examples of ionizing solvents are water liquid hydrogen fluoride liquid hydrogen cyanide so when two water molecules come in contact with each other one water molecule transfer proton to other and there is a auto ionization to form h3o plus and oh minus similarly between two ammonia molecules proton transfer takes place one molecule gets converted into nh4 plus whereas other nh2 minus and in between hf molecule also there is a proton transfer similarly in hydrogen cyanide there is a proton transfer we get h2 cn plus and cn minus so these are ionizing solvents okay so2 from two between two so2 molecules there is a oxygen transfer and therefore they are ionizing solvents now non ionizing solvents means uh, these are non polar and their dipole moments and dielectric constants are quite low okay only covalent compounds dissolve in them example carbon tetrachloride and benzene these are the non ionizing solvents